What's going on? Today I want to talk about calories and how weight loss and calories work hand in hand. So I want to talk a little bit today about how to properly lose weight. So when you think about weight loss as a simple term, all it means is that you have less intake than you do output. So what that basically means is you have three macronutrients. You have protein, carbs, and fats. All three of those break down into calories. So look at, look at it like this. Protein are made of calories. Carbs, made of calories, and so are fats. So all macronutrients are made of calories. So to say that you have to eliminate carbs or eliminate fats or increase protein to lose weight does not make any sense. Now, calories as a whole is the easiest way to conclude weight loss. And that means basically if I eat 2000 calories and my BMR, my basic metabolic rate, how much my body burns on a daily basis from general everyday activities, what it requires my body to function from the time I get up to the time I get up the next morning, that 24 hour period, that's my basic metabolic rate. So for example, if my basic metabolic rate is 2000 calories, that means if I eat 2001 calories or more, I will gain weight. If I eat 1999 calories or less, I will lose weight. It looks like this. If your BMR is 2000, and I eat 1,900 or less, I'm going to lose weight. If I eat 2,001 calorie or more, I'm going to gain weight. It really is that simple. Now, if I eat 1,999 calories of donuts, it doesn't matter. It's still less than my body burns in a day. That extra calorie has to come from somewhere. Your body is smart enough to go find stored energy sources, aka fat, and use it to burn energy to meet its daily demands. Now, obviously, 1999 from 2000 is only a one calorie difference. Weight loss is not going to be extreme. However, let's say we subtracted 200, 300, or even 400 calories. So let's say we're at 400 calories, which will put us at 1,600 calories for the day. If we're at 1,600 calories and we eat all 1,600 calories of donuts or pizza or ice cream, it does not matter. We will still lose weight. The reason being, the 1,600 calories we consumed is our body burned through all 1,600 and it now is looking for an additional 400 calories to meet today's demands. It will go to stored fat and utilize those 400 calories in order to meet today's daily demands, which is going to create weight loss. Now, there is multiple methods of losing weight. You can use Adkins, you can use intermittent fasting, you can use uh, ketogenic, you can use carb cycling. The framework you use doesn't matter. Let me explain that a little bit further. If I'm doing intermittent fasting and I fast and I only eat for eight hours out of the day and I fast for the other 16, during those eight hours, if I was a 2000 calorie person and I ate 1600 calories, that 400 calories is still gonna be burned from my fat. Regardless of how long I ate, how quickly I ate, when I ate, it doesn't matter. That's why ketogenic also works. If I like doing ketogenic, and let's say I eat only fats and proteins, but I only eat 1600 calories worth of fats and proteins, my body will still search for those extra 400 calories it needs to meet today's demands. That's why the dieting style that you choose is like a framework. So you have the ketogenic, you have the intermittent fasting, both at 1600 calories equal weight loss or just a regular normal diet at 1600 calories also equals weight loss or an all pizza diet at 1600 calories will equal weight loss an all ice cream diet at 1600 calories equals weight loss now there is optimal ways to gain muscle or lose more fat um, however as a general statement if you're out there killing yourself over this diet and you're on a meal plan, it's, it's irrelevant. All you have to really do is just reduce the amount of calories you take in less than your body's basic demands on a daily basis and you will lose weight. So 
the reason I suggest most people do, if it fits your macros, style dieting, is because you eat the food you want and you don't have this craving for foods. Like if the first thing I say is you can't have pizza, all you're gonna do is crave pizza the entire time. So if I say you can have pizza, it doesn't matter as long as it fits within your macronutrients, meaning your proteins, your carbs, and your fats, we're all good, you'll still lose weight. So if I give you this breakdown and I say, I'm gonna give you protein, carbs, and fats, and it's gonna equal 2,000 calories, but now I want to subtract 400 to equal weight loss. When I give you 1,600 calories worth of protein, carbs, and fats, you're gonna lose weight because overall calories are still less than your body's daily need. That's what makes If It Fits Your Macros so easy. All you're doing is simply tracking what you eat and making sure that it fits within your caloric limit and then inside of those calories, you're just being a little bit more in depth to say, I want my proteins to be close to my goal, I want my fats to be close to my goal, and my carbs. However, if I mess up on one or the other, let's say I go five over my protein and five under on my carbs, it's, it's a net loss, you didn't lose anything. Because the five you went over on protein and the five you went under on carbs still equals the same amount of calories, or vice versa. Let's say you have a couple extra fat and a couple less protein. Weight loss will still occur at the 1600 calorie mark if those numbers still add up to 1600 calories at the end of the day. That's the beauty of If It Fits Your Macros. It's an easy style, easy way to lose weight. As long as you realize that at the end of the day, calories are king. What that means is as long as your calories are in check, you will consistently lose weight if you're eating less than your body requires on a daily limit. Hit the like button below if you found this information helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna try and put out more and more free content on a weekly basis to try and help you reach your fitness goals. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.